Hi again, guys. Um, just wanted to do another quick five minute video. Um, this is also on um, basically the, the sheep and just homesteading in general. But as you can see, we had our hay delivered. Um, this is a mix of Timothy clover, um, fescue, I think, and a couple, other, a couple other grasses. But we had 55 bales delivered, and we also sorry we also had three already so we have 58 bells doing the math and everything i can feed four ewes without any issue um we also have a horse and he'll still be able to be fed without an issue our horse is an easy keeper though so he doesn't eat as much as a lot of other horses do he's he stays fat pretty easy but anyway um this is mostly just to kind of um give you guys the heads up now everything else is going up in price right now everything is going insane and these 55 bales seven dollars a piece delivered which is an amazing price for right now because everything has gone insane i was just going to do it the easy way for us so let me get a little closer so you can see how far back it goes <laughs> it's three rows <laughs> and um like you know five foot six high or something but um seven dollars a piece for these little square two two string bales they weigh probably about 55 60 pounds a piece but um at the feed store same size bales went from eight dollars a bale to ten dollars a bale okay that's a 20 percent increase the big bales they are still selling for like 35 to 50 dollars depending on what they're made of but if you um, don't get it soon, most likely those bales are going to double in price before fall. So I highly recommend if you can afford it, start getting your hay now for winter. You need hay for winter. If you have any kind of grazing animal, that is horses, cows, sheep, goats, um, even pigs sometimes like to graze, but you probably don't have to have hay for them because we didn't have to have hay when we raised pigs. But any kind of ruminant, any kind of grazing animal, make sure you start getting your hay now. Don't worry about just your food when you are stockpiling. Make sure you get enough for your animals because your animals are going to produce your meat, your eggs, your milk, whatever you're raising them for, they need hay. Now, if you are not raising something that requires hay, then start stocking up on your bagged feed or start deciding, uh, start stocking up on rice or start stocking up on other things that you can feed your animals. For example, if you are not able to get or to afford bagged feed from chick for chickens, you have enough chickens that you can't just feed them table scraps or garden overflow then you can do things like cook rice, add a couple scrambled eggs back into it for protein and feed that to the chickens. It's not the healthiest thing in the world for them, but it will keep them going and keep them producing for you. Um, same thing goes with like dogs. You can feed dogs rice with some meat and in, mixed into it and it'll, they'll be fine. Um, when it comes to ruminants though, they have to have either pasture or they have to have hay. They have to have that for their stomach to, to work correctly. So that's why we stocked up and made sure we had plenty of hay well before winter. And I may, um, if I have some extra money um, in the next couple months, grab a few more bales from the feed store, even at $10 a piece, just to be 100% sure we have more than enough hay. But we are coming up pretty close to that five minutes again, like just after four. But I just wanted to basically bring attention to that. Make sure you are also stocking up on any animal needs. If you have quail, you have chickens, you have rabbits, you have uh, horses, ch you have ducks, you have geese, you have um, cows, pigs, sheep, goats, um, turkeys, you know, any kind of homestead, livestock, farmy animal that you are raising to help you, or even just because you want them as a pet, make sure you don't forget to stock up on what they need to survive as well. Hopefully things will turn around and things will look better next year, but I'm not holding my breath. Guys, that's been my five minutes and I will talk to you later. Bye.